hello guys it's been a while here a lot of things has happened but i'm back now and in today's video we're looking at how to create animation when you are changing from when you are moving from one page to another i can show you a little animation when you go from page one to page two and as you guys can see i'm changing my operating system to linux so let's see how good this is with flutter so go into your prospect yaml file and add the page out animator dependency there and let's get started and as you can see i've created my main stateless widget so inside the material app you have to create home and i have my first screen so i'll create a folder called first screens and inside there i'll have my screens after creating my screen you know what's next you import flutter material that or if you are using cupertino put your flutter cupertino dot that and then go a stateless widget again and this will be my first screen and after that i have my scaffold the title i have my scaffold up bar and inside my upper i have a title and then in the body i'm having a center widget with an elevated button in there so is this elevated button that will be moving us to the next screen so i just finished running the app and we can see this is the app now can see the elevated button there so now i create my second screen so now i have to create my second screen and you know what we'll repeat everything we did in the first screen create a stateless widget and call it the second screen then let's go back to our first page and inside our elevated button we have the navigator dot push and here we have our context and then the page route animation so the page route animation will take two context we take two parameters by the way don't forget to import it into your project take two parameters the child and the route animation the child will be this next screen we are moving to and in this scenario this is the second screen and the route animation will be the type of animation you want now this will take the route animation dot and you see different type of animations you can choose here you can choose any one i'll choose one of my choice and after choosing one you just save and see it in action and now if you press the button you can see the animation is a little bit too fast but here we have it click again and yeah this is it so it also have a parameter to like change the speed the duration of the animation and here yeah, i'll have constant duration i'll make it very slow i'll be using seconds for it and i'll have three seconds of three seconds over here and here yeah, we'll see it in action you can see how slow it is don't mind the way it is choppy it's actually not choppy on the app but it's my recording app that makes it look like this you can see to move to the front page is very slow but to go back is very fast so it also have parameter to reduce the speed of the reverse animation there are also a lot of parameters here which you can use and be looking at them in this video and this is the end of the video if you enjoyed this kind of subscribe to the channel if you are new also like this video and i love your feedback on what you think of this video i'll see you in the next lesson